What's up, everybody? It's Vishon Jones, and I am here for Fedora Outlier LLC. I promise you, man, it's been a while. Let me take off these headphones since I've recorded a video. Man, I'm going to tell you why. Well, no, it's not been a while since I recorded a video. It's actually been a while since I've edited a video. I've recorded a bunch. But, uh, man, this thing is, like, amazing to be able to record and edit audio i mean this is apple is just one amazing company i promise you but listen i got on my lebron james special edition white league leading jersey right very expensive i got on my lebron james nikes right i'm telling you now, I got my ball head like Michael Jordan. But guess what? Does it make me equal, baby? Just because I got the same gear. And I probably don't even have the same gear. LeBron is like, out of here. Ain't nobody wearing that. But no, I, it just came out. You know what I mean? So he, he, he might be wearing it. I don't know. You can ask him. But the point of this particular video is, um, you know, all things aren't created equal right if all things were equal you could do what i could do and he could do what you know the other person could do and you could do what they can do the bottom line is we all learn from each other we all are this wealth of information and you got different life experiences worldviews i got different life experiences different worldviews and we put that stuff together and i promise you man i am learning every day from editing audio editing video working with different apps learning how to be a vendor in different countries i mean we just signed a contract with india i mean how crazy is that like the people the blind people in india Man, when I started this thing, I wanted to be worldwide, but I didn't know how big it could grow. And the thing about it is I never looked at the other people doing what I wanted to do and say, hey, I want to be like them. I never wanted to buy a Mustang and drive around to see clients because I knew that time was going to be of the essence. I knew that my time is something I couldn't get back, right? And so I never wanted to do that. I wanted to create it like writing a book. I wanted to write the book once. I wanted to put in the effort up front once, and I wanted to sell it over and over and over again, right? But I also wanted to employ as many blind people as humanly possible. And so I never, once I started on this journey, I never looked up until now and thought about what other people were doing i promise you i didn't even know what a cvrt was a certified vision rehabilitation therapist i heard people talk about it right but i didn't know what they did i didn't know that you know those are the people that come to your house and show you how to do you know what i mean i never knew that you know i did wonder why they never really taught me like o and m you know, like getting on and off buses and trains and all of that and why they had to hand that task over. And now I'm going to employ CVRTs, O&M specialists, assistive technology instructors as um, we have before. But I never looked at the jersey that someone else had on and said I wanted to be that. Now, what I did do, which was very, very helpful, I took the good from each and every person that I ran across and I added it to my repertoire of skills like Steve Soxon, which like is the greatest guy on earth, like the most smart, most intelligent person I know. Um, and it was kind of cool. I'll tell you another story about uh, meeting him. Well, I met him several times, but you know all right let me take a little a side step all right so when i met steve Soxon, it was becoming part of a mac beta testing group when the apple first became accessible right all right and so this was like 2004 
And um, fast forward years and years later, I wasn't a system technology instructor. I just wanted to be it. I just wanted to do it. So we're at CSUN, California State University of Northridge in San Diego, California. And we're both presenting, but we didn't know it. Right. I didn't know he was presenting. And so I come into the room getting ready for my presentation guess who's packing up his stuff from doing his presentation the same person that taught me how to use the mac <laughs> all right listen so right here i could pretend like um <laughs> i was just continuously recording but i wasn't i'm gonna tell you what just happened so i take my dropbox and then it's offline and I have to download each file when I need it, which is cool, right? But I made a mistake for something I was doing and made my Dropbox fully available online, two terabytes worth of data and um, it blew out my hard drive. So I had to figure that out and now I'm back and it's literally like seven hours later. So my enthusiasm is not all the way there for this story but i'm telling you i do get excited because the very person that taught me um and we was actually learning how to put windows on the mac um at that time using fusion or fission or whatever it's called um i don't know because we don't use it no more we don't, we don't care about that stuff it's either the mac or windows baby and i got them both because I could dribble with both hands. But yeah, Steve Soxon, man, was right there. We shook hands, we smiled, we hugged. Um, and it was like that, that that aha moment for me, man. It was ridiculous how amazing that time was. But, you know, as great as he was, and he kept telling me, man, you could do it. You can do this stuff. And his director for blindness services in the state of Maine became our director of blindness services mr paul raymond and um you know it was just it was it was it was it was meant to be right but it was meant to be for me and you know where he's at now we still do the same work as far as assistive technology we still do the same work as far as advocacy he was the um state president for the National Federation of the Blind of Maine. I was the chapter president for Cobb County Empowerment Chapter, the chapter that I founded and started with my boy Giorgio and a bunch of others. Um, so same plight, similar plight, but we're not wearing um, the same proverbial jersey, if you will, right? So just because we got on the jersey just because we're wearing the shoes, just because we get our hair cut the same, we're not the same. We're not the same. We are we, you are you, and us is us. Now, how's that? <laughs> now, listen, um, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video off here because I'm tired. I just, <laughs> in the morning when I recorded and I was all fresh, um, I was good. But like I said, it's hours and hours later, clients later, I'm hot and sweaty as if I played ball, but I didn't. So you guys know what it is, man. Let's change the world. Let's put on the gear and be us and let's change the world together.